I'm about to take you into one of the best themed restaurants on the Walt Disney World property, the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. I'm gonna show you all the seating options so you can enjoy this restaurant in comfort as a plus size person. And we'll share some accessibility options as well. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I'm Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Disney and Florida has to offer plus size people. Today we're going to be eating at the Sci Fi Dine In Theater. And yes, I do think it is the best themed restaurant in all of the Walt Disney World parks. We're going to try a whole bunch of cool stuff on this menu, and uh, we might even have a few surprises for you too. The lobby is lined with vintage sci-fi posters. And look at this, the check-in desk looks like the entrance to a drive-in. Oh my goodness. What is this artifact that I see in the corner? I gotta see if it works. Oh, you can't take the phone off the hook. But isn't that cool? I wonder how many of our viewers will be asking, what in the world is this thing? Another one of my favorite features here in the lobby area of Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater is the free water. There's a wonderful water cups, and of course you can fill up your water bottle in here as well with ice cold, fresh water. Well, yes. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited yeah. to be back. Watch yes. out for our speed bumps, guys. You know how our floor can be. <laughs> and right up here, our pit stop to the right will be our restrooms if you want to take a quick break. Here's your first sneak peek, your preview <gasps> back in time. Look at this, guys. <gasps> this is amazing. Look at all those amazing vintage cars. The snack bar at the back is the kitchen. And look at that giant screen playing all kinds of promos and sci-fi movie trailers. Look at the night sky. This is the most beautifully themed, perfectly themed restaurant in all of the Disney parks in my opinion. I can't wait. Let's go join my party. This was uh, from a trip in May 2018 when my friend Melanie and I both tried the booth. I believe Melanie is a size 22, 24, and I believe she's about 5'8". So she's smaller and taller than me, and she did seem to have a little bit more room in this booth than I did. Here I go ahead and I try to sit in the booth as well. At the time that this video was taken, I was wearing a size 32, and as you can see, my belly is right up against the table. The table's not very deep. If I lean forward to eat any food or anything, my belly and or my bust would be right on the table. Do you recognize this style of table? Back in the olden days, they had these out in front of fast food restaurants. This is another table option that you can try if you're interested in it. Please keep in mind that the seats are attached to the center of the table and do not pull in and out, so your space may be limited. Thank you so much. Today we're dining in a car that has a table with chairs that pull in and out. The chairs are nice and cushioned and comfy. I've placed my purse on the chair so that you can see just how large the chair is. It's a good sized chair with a nice deep cushion and I found it to be very comfortable. Let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. As you can see, there's a number of non-alcoholic specialty drinks. Um, there's a number of appetizers that are hearty enough to make for a meal. And entrees include steaks, salads, burgers, a barbecue platter, and even pasta. On the back of the menu, they list all of the special cosmic concoctions, which are all the specialty cocktails. This restaurant also serves white wine and red wine, as well as sangria, specialty craft beers, and bottled and can and draft beers. In May 2018, Melanie ordered this wedge salad, which is on the appetizer menu. It's about $8, and she found it to be really delicious and really filling. What I ordered this time was a turkey croissant. The croissant is a whole grain croissant, and as you can see, there's bacon, tomato, lettuce, and freshly sliced roasted turkey, and it comes with a side of fries. I thought it was incredibly delicious. The croissant was nice and flaky. The meat tasted incredibly fresh and beautifully roasted, and all of the veggies on the sandwich were nice and crisp. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, we ordered the sampler. So what we have here are some buffalo wings and we have some fried pickles. And these chips go with this crab, what is this, crab and shrimp uh, fondue? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna try this. And it looks like we have some dipping sauces here on the side for the pickles. I'm actually really excited about fried pickles because I have never had them before. <gasps> what? Yeah. It looks, look at these are house-made chips and they come in a little fryer basket. That's the cutest thing ever. I love cute food. All right, guys, we're gonna dig in and let you know how everything tastes. All right, my first fried pickle ever. Let's go for it. This looks like a ranch dip. I'll try it. That is really delicious. Have you guys ever had fried pickles? You gotta try this. Okay, this buffalo wing thing is like a boneless tender and it is gigantic and we got like uh, one, two, three, four. I think we got like four or five of them on this platter. This looks fantastic. I'm gonna dig into this. It's just the right amount of spicy and salty. It's really, really good. And the crunch on the chicken is perfect. It's not too hard. It's not soggy. But look at the face that Melanie made when she tried it. She doesn't agree with me. You don't like it? I'm not a buffalo person, but I figured I'd try it. Is it too hot? Yeah, I guess I just don't like the spice and the buffalo sauce in general. So mm -hmm. I found a part that didn't look very saucy and cut it off for myself. But when smothered in the appropriate amount of what I believe is blue cheese, it became a lot better. <laughs> but as I just said, fondue, cheese makes everything better. So. It does, doesn't it? It does. All right, guys, you are eating that fondue. Tell me, me what do you I think? Good. Is good. it really good? It's good. So far, it's creamy. Uh, I have got a few little chunks of crab. I have yet to find a little shrimp, but I'm sure he's sitting in there. So it's good. It? The, the chips are um, very good. So one thing I find with a lot of chips is they're really salty. These are not at all. They taste delicious and fresh. They're not over salted and it tastes really good with the fondue. So, awesome. Recommend. So, we made quick work of that sampler platter and it was amazing. My favorite thing I think was the fried pickles because I'd never tried that before and it was super yummy. But I really, really enjoyed those buffalo chicken tenders and um, my buddies here said that they really, really liked that dip. Found the shrimp, it was magical. <laughs> so it's definitely yummy and it was more than enough food for three people. Definitely will feed four very hungry people or more. So definitely recommend that for sure. Hi, I'm Chef Bill and welcome to Sci-Fi. We really appreciate you guys coming here and thinking Sci-Fi for your uh, dining pleasure today. Uh, we've really done a lot of work with our menu in the last year and a half. Many, many changes going forward, but what we've tried to focus on here is flavors and putting food first. Fresh ingredients, fresh items, and really teaching our cast how to execute menu items well so that they are at the premium when they come into the dining room for you guys. So thank you for thinking sci-fi. I appreciate your time. Melanie ordered the shrimp pasta. That looks fantastic. Looks like it came with some garlic toast. That it did. And from what I understand, there was zucchini and fennel and all sorts of good mushrooms and all sorts of good vegetables in yeah, there as well. All right. all right, so there you go. There's it's a giant shrimp. shrimp. I'm excited. Good, very good too. Nice. Are those grilled shrimp or are they? They are grilled, it looks like. What did they say, pan sear? I don't know. Oh, they were pan seared. The more I'm eating, the more I'm looking at them, they were pan seared with the rest yeah. of the dish. Yeah. Oh, look what Sean ordered. He got the steak. He had that cooked medium that's got some beautiful potatoes and asparagus and uh, looks like it's some roasted tomatoes as well. I cannot wait to see how you guys enjoy your meal. It said it had a bacon vinaigrette butter on it as well. Bacon vinaigrette butter? Ooh, fancy. All right, let's dig in. Look at Sean diligently carving at that beef. It tastes like more. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, it got the thumbs up. So, Sean shared some of his steak with me, so I'm gonna try it. 
Because we got like this thing, like keep sign. Okay. <laughs> it's funny when you giggle when you eat. <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe it's taking me so long to chew it. The steak is like tender, almost like it's been marinated. You can definitely taste that hint of that vinaigrette, but just a hint of it. It's absolutely been a grilled steak. It's like, man, that was really, really good. You can taste the fire. Come you on. can taste the fire. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely really, really good. That's a really nice steak. Definitely worth the money, in my opinion. Excellent. Okay, I am so sorry for this lighting being so yucky, but I want to let you know what I have. In the upper left-hand corner, we have some coleslaw with pickles. To the right of that is some pulled pork. And then we have some cornbread, some ribs, baked beans, and chicken. This is the barbecue platter. I'm really excited to try it. My name is Chef Josh, and we're going to talk about this. Uh, so we have uh, four different proteins on here. We have a grilled chicken, a smoked pork butt, we have ribs, and we have a Debreziner sausage. Uh, the pork is actually topped with a Coca-Cola barbecue sauce. We also offer a southern coleslaw, bread and butter pickles, and jalapeno cheddar cornbread. And of course, we're going to finish it with some southern baked beans, cowboy style, so we have tons of different meat in there. So thank you. I hope you enjoy. Awesome. Thank you. start off clockwise, just like how I showed you the food with a little bit of the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. It's a little on the dry side, but I like that. I don't like my coleslaw to be super wet, so it's actually not too peppery. It's nice and mild. Up next is the pork. Guys, this pork is delicious. You guys have to try some of this. It is so good. And then the cornbread. Mm. The cornbread has little pieces of corn in it. The cornbread does have a little bit of jalapeno as well as pieces of whole kernel corn in it. And it's yummy. Um, it's nice and moist. It almost tastes kind of sweet, actually, even though it's got jalapeno in it. It almost has kind of like a dessert factor to it. I'm going to take a bite of a rib. That is really yummy. They're not overly sauced. It's not overly salty or spicy. And it's not too sweet either. It's just perfect. These are perfect ribs. They're delicious. There's a slight smoky flavor to it, but nothing overwhelming. Okay, up next are the beans. These beans remind me of the ones my mom used to make. Pork and beans. Like slow simmered and baked. They're fantastic. <laughs> this is really good for the coup de gras. Barbecue chicken leg. <laughs> that is really good. There's no sauce on it, but plenty of seasoning. And it's definitely been grilled on a barbecue. It's just that slight smoky flavor to it. And it reminds me of the chicken my dad would make when I was a kid. It is fantastic. This is like homecoming on a plate. I love it. I'm so glad I ordered this. I wanted to introduce you to Renata. She is an amazing cast member, a member of management in this restaurant, the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. And it, this experience is brought to you by Renata. She had us come here as her guest and let us have this wonderful experience and share with you everything that this restaurant is about. I hope that you guys leave lots of comments that she can come back and look at and let her know <laughs> how much she's appreciated and what a wonderful experience this was and how much you love this video. Thank you so much, Renata, for everything you did for us today. Thanks, Renata.
<laughs> Thank you. We had a spectacular meal, as you saw. And wasn't it amazing that the chefs took time to come out and say hello to us? I wanted to thank Renata again for making that happen so that we could share with you a little bit of background about the kind of thought and care that goes into creating these wonderful menus and meals for you while you're dining in Walt Disney World. If you've eaten here at the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater before and you weren't really jazzed about the food, I highly recommend you give it another shot because this is a completely revamped menu and as you can tell, the chefs have all put their heart and soul into this menu to make it as amazing as they possibly could for you. It's great too that they have a few different options for seating for plus size people, for people with accessibility concerns. When you're checking in for your reservation, make sure to let the cast member know your table type preference. If you want to try sitting in one of the car booths, if you want a table with chairs, or if you want to sit at one of the fast food outdoor tables. There's lots to love and enjoy at the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. I know you're really going to enjoy your meal, but you know what I like to say at the end of every video, enjoy the ride.